Well, hey, Cove. Hey, Cove. Pastor Dan and Ann here for a Wednesday midweek update, and we're outside at the Cove. Yep. Beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous day. And we're actually at station number 10 of the Stations of the Cross walk that is set up around our campus. And, it, you know, as we're here in the middle of Holy Week, this, this week where we remember the last events of Jesus' life, uh, we're headed towards Good Friday, and we kind of mark the, these times in a number of different ways. For instance, the large cross out in the field at the Cove, uh, right now it has purple color. That's the color of the Lenten season. Uh, on Friday, that will turn to black, uh, the day we remember Christ being crucified. And then by Easter morning, it will be white uh, because of the resurrection and for the rest of the Easter season. So we, we kind of mark these times in a, a number of different ways. Uh, as you know, because we've been talking about it on Friday, Good Friday, we're not actually having a service, but we are inviting people to drop in anytime between 5 and 7, uh, walk the stations as, as a prayer walk, and or sit in a quiet sanctuary for just some, some silent prayer together. Um, a number of you have already come to the Cove and, and walked the Stations of the Cross and found them meaningful. And it's been really great to hear from you, um, either in person at the service, some people send messages just saying they've had a chance to do it. Um, I got a really interesting and thoughtful message from Gina Donaldson this week, just explaining what the experience was like. And we asked her if she'd write it up. Um, it's really beautiful um, about Station 11. And so we thought we'd take you over there and um, share her words with you and the image of that station and you could enter into her thoughts also. Great. Okay. These are Gina's words. Not quite sure what to expect. I had never experienced an outdoor version and immediately noticed how many of my senses were engaged. Hearing sounds of life all around, feeling the breeze as I walked, smelling cut grass and nature, and of course seeing the carefully chosen images representing Jesus' journey. It was Station 11, Jesus' body taken down from the cross, near the end that stopped me, evoking strong feelings. The station was different, nailed to a large tree stump. The depiction of La Pieta, Mary with the bottom body of her son. It has two images, both familiar, conveying immense love and loss. But the juxtaposition of the two is what struck me and gave pause. One is ancient, one modern, though timeless. One revered and housed in a most sacred place, the other living, accessible. Yet do I take notice? Am I desensitized? I have been fortunate to visit La Pieta several times in person in Rome, always amongst crowds, usually feeling cerebral overload from all that St. Peter's and the Vatican offer. However, here in Santa Rosa, alone and outside, I had a visceral response that surprised and stayed with me. We all see and feel each station uniquely and differently. That is the inherent beauty of the journey and perhaps the best Easter surprise.